Hey everybody, it's Barbara. Welcome to my channel, Picky Chick. In today's video, I am bringing you an unboxing of a mystery box of jewelry. This is a five pound thread up rescue box. Here we have it right here. And this particular box is from Phoenix, Arizona. We are going to cut to the chase, not a lot of chit chat. I'm gonna open up the box and we are going to dump out the contents and start unpacking. Um, if you are new here, I am a seller on eBay, full-time seller, and I love selling jewelry. So I am hoping that I can find some goodies in this box to sell. Here we are just taking a peek from the outside. Here's one side. I'm glad to see that it's in a bag because sometimes it comes loose. Uh, but this is all packed in a bag and I am going to take this little empty box here, fill it with this bag of jewelry and start exploring. Here's the first piece I am pulling out. This is a cuff bracelet. There's a piece here that has come unattached, or become unattached, I should say. It's a pretty bracelet. I am not seeing a maker's mark on it. It's got all the crystals intact in turquoise, clear, and blue. But I am going to put this in a craft lot. And by the way, if you do see anything that you would like to purchase in this video, please send me an email at kitsch.barbara at yahoo.com. Here is my email address on the screen and I will also always include it down below in the description box. There are a couple of tangle challenges in the box. This necklace is one of them. This is a multi-strand seed bead necklace in like a maroon red, a bright orangey red, and some metallic silver and gold tone combo. No name on this one. It does have a lobster clasp closure and here's a closer look at the seed beads. Not a thing wrong with this necklace. In fact, it's an interesting combination of colors, so I like it. I just untangled a bunch of items caught up in this necklace also. This is made with a brass tone, a gold tone, little square beads and they are turning so this one is going in the craft lot. Both of these packages were in this lot. They are charm beads and then the smaller ones are post earrings. So we have one in yellow with yellow crystals and one with white with white crystals. And both of these are also gonna go in the craft lot. There are quite a lot of earrings in this lot. I grouped these together because I thought they were all fun, very bold colors, kind of fringy danglies and they remind me of sugar fix or bobble bar sugar fix is a subsidiary of bobble bar it's less expensive and carried in target so you can see what these are uh, i love the colors they're all dangles and um, i think i could definitely sell these what do all these items have in common well they are all going in the craft lot um, you get a lot of these in these lots these mystery boxes so and the the metals wearing down on them the great components to work with in a craft here is a headband and this group here is probably three or four necklaces tangled up together but there are some cute charms and components in it so uh, I'm gonna say goodbye to these and put them in the craft here's another fun pair of earrings I got excited when I first saw them because I did recognize them as J crew and they are J. Crew, but uh, these stones right here, they're pretty worn down. You can see how worn they are. There's the J. Crew stamp on the back. Unfortunately, I can't sell them because of all the wear on the rhinestones, but they are pretty cool. The next piece coming out is this ring, and you can see right there, it is adjustable. And I am seeing a 925 stamp right there. It actually does feel like 925. I don't think I've ever seen an adjustable ring in sterling silver. So, and it's got this cabochon, a mother pearl cabochon, has a slight curve to it right there. Very cool. Why don't I just try the magnet on it? It does feel like sterling, so I'm not surprised that there is no attraction there. 
I want to try this on. There it is. I actually like the large stone on this. It's definitely a statement piece. I've never quite seen one like this. Here's a set of hinge bracelets. They're identical, one in peach and one in like a mint green. And they are showing quite a bit of wear. So these are going to go in craft as well. Well, this caught my attention as soon as I spotted it in the lot. It's a very pretty Southwestern style pendant. Faux turquoise, very pretty colors. And yep, just the pendant only. It is made by Chaps. So maybe I can find a nice chain to go on this, or maybe I could just sell this as the pendant. It's very pretty. I like this next piece a lot. This is a three strand pearl necklace. This clasp is so pretty. It's sort of um, open work or filigree style. That may be a faux pearl sitting on top there. That's gold tone and the clasp is that box clasp. It snaps like so, so pretty. Let me see if I can find any markings on the clasp. I am not seeing any marks on this. This very well could be handmade because it doesn't really have an end. It's just, you can see the knot. This is very pretty. It looks brand new. It looks like it's never been worn. I will be briefed in describing these bracelets. I would just say old and worn. They are going in craft. Well, the previous group was old and worn, but I'd say that these are new and unworn. These are great. These are memory wire bracelets made with these different color crystals, silver, AB clear, and then like a grayish blue mixed with ivory. And then the center part of all of them all have these little disco beads in the center and those square brown crystals. They are a lot of fun and I would probably list these as a group. Here are a couple more pair of earrings, super fun. These are made with raffia. This black pair has like a textured gold tone right there, a C-shaped hook, and they're pretty cute. Don't see a name on these. The second pair of raffias are these burgundy raffias wrapped around a wooden ring and these are plastic little stones mixed with wood. These are fun too. I also just found these earrings that are basically the sister or sibling to the ones we just saw in maroon or burgundy. So these are the more neutral version and they are using more like a faux tortoise shell accent. Really cute. This is the perfect piece for a craft lot. These are mother of pearl beads and they're not a thing wrong with them, but they're strung too tight so the wire is bending and it's, you know, very inexpensive findings. So this can be deconstructed and those beads can be used for a different project. Coming out next is this bag. I'm seeing an anchor. Now sometimes when you get bags like this, it's a really fun uh, surprise, pleasing, and sometimes it's a disappointment. Let's just see what we have here. So what I am seeing is a cute little anchor pendant. Let me get that better. There, that's more clear. And another anchor, a little enameled anchor there. It has, looks like pink crystals. And another little crystal charm. And I am seeing a Betsy Johnson little heart right there. But I also saw a different. This says Kenzo and let's see, made in France. Okay, well, I am thinking that for sure this does not belong on this chain. This looks like a sterling silver chain. I don't know the name Kenzo, but I will certainly look that up. I'm going to get that magnet out and just test it to see if it's... Yeah, it, I do believe that this is a sterling silver chain. So, well, that's a nice surprise. Uh, the Betsy Johnson little charms are cute, but I'm really pleased with this sterling silver chain as well. All earrings, all going to the craft lot. Some usable pieces for crafting for sure, but nothing I can sell. 
Next is a watch. It's a silver tone watch. The brand on it is called Watch It. Right there, there is the face that shows that. The band is a stretchy. Uh, the watch is not running. It's not a, an expensive brand of watch at all. So I'm going to send this to the craft pile. The next piece is a very pretty enameled hinge bracelet. It's a clamper bracelet. There's the clamp right there. It's a navy blue and ivory enameled bracelet. And you see right there, there is a name. I'm not familiar with it, but it says Fornash. I will look up that brand and it's a great looking bracelet so for sure if it's worthwhile I will be listing this one. There are a couple of Alex and Ani bracelets including this one. This has a little B but it's a pretty worn out B. Yes, he is kind of scuffed up and turning but the bracelet itself, the band, this part right here is in great shape. Um, so, but that's going to go in craft. And here's the second one, and I have quite a few of these. Whoops, I have it upside down. Let me show you the charm. There's the charm. It's a little paw print. Um, it's pretty rough as far as the finish, so that's going in craft as well. Here are more pieces. These are all necklaces, all going in the craft. Great craft components, really cool beads, but nothing that I can sell. As a matter of fact, I think for the next few uh, clips that you see, I'm going to pull out all of the rest of the craft lot and then we will get to the more wearable pieces. How's that sound? Here's the first clip showing all the pieces that are going in the craft lot. I was trying to get all fancy and trying to stand both of these up, but I couldn't get this blue one to stand up. So uh, some great pieces again for crafting, but nothing that is sellable. Okay, I did my best to show you here all of the rings that are going in the craft lot. Most of them are pretty worn, missing stones. You get the idea. Now let's take a look at some wearable earrings. Very pretty. Most of them are blingy, except for these. These aren't really blingy, but they're definitely wearable and very pretty. These are wooden hoops with these cute little blue faux turquoise little stone insets and I just thought they were cute. This next pair of earrings are very pretty. No name brand, actually none of these have name brands, but these are crystal rhinestones in like a golden brown and green, really sweet. This is a real pretty pair of crystal rhinestone earrings. It has a heart top to it and then a teardrop down below. Again, no name brand, they're all pierced. This next pair of earrings are hoop earrings. It's silver tone. It's a matte silver tone and all of the clear crystals are there. They go all the way around and these have a click top closure. These are real pretty. In the next row up are these dangle earrings in a gold tone, sort of an open work. These are dangles and these are a pale pink rhinestone. And then we have this final pair of earrings using red crystals and a gunmetal color. Uh, the ear wire itself on this one is gunmetal, and then there was a gold one stuck on that one, so that would be such an easy fix. I thought those were pretty too. Ooh, I really like this ring a lot. I like the wave happening here with this design, and then the center where all the waves come together, uh, we have six clear crystals. Really super shiny band, super shiny silver all the way around. I'm not seeing any markings on this. I do want to try it on though. I just think this is super pretty. I like the unique design on this. Let's see what size it is. This is a size six. Very cool. I am loving this necklace. It has a very modern pendant. It's a square frame with a little pearl inside and it's hanging on a very pretty chain and there's a tag right there close to the lobster clasp and the tag says Steffens. There is a closer look at the necklace. See the pretty chain and another close look at that pendant as well. It's almost a, a matte silver. And by the way, I've never heard of Stefan's, so I definitely have to look into that brand, but this feels very well made. Let's see what happens with the magnet. It doesn't seem to be attracted to the magnet. I think this is sterling silver. 
I'm going to run a test after the video. Read your screen right here to see what the result of the metal test is. This is so pretty. This pair of earrings is also pretty. These are more dainty. And you can see that there's a butterfly dangling off of this branch-like piece here. A hook ear wire. They don't have matching ear backs right now. That would be easy to fix. Okay, so I think what I'm seeing is reading left to right, JBB, CN, and then 925. I think these are sterling silver. They're not attracted to the magnet. They're stamped 925. I will do the test again, the metal test after the video, and you can read your screen to see the results of the test. This next piece is a very pretty, what looks to be vintage ring. It's a very wide band and it has a filigree design. And as I'm turning it, I think I got a peek at the inside. I thought I saw 925, let's see. Right there, it is stamped 925. Oh, that is so pretty. I'm going to put this down and get the magnet out to see if it's attracted and it is not. I have no doubt that this is sterling silver. It feels like sterling. And I'll go ahead and put the results of my test, which I always still like to do. Uh, this is super pretty. I like this one. Why don't we size this? This is a size nine. Ah, this is such a pretty pair of earrings. These are silver tone. We've got some filigree work, some clear crystals, and of course they are drops. These are not that long. Just to give you an idea, it looks like they drop down to about one and a quarter inches. There we go. Now you can see what the top of the earring looks like too. And I'm going to turn these over and show you the bottoms. Do you see that design stamped on the back? I'm pretty sure that design belongs to 1928. So that's the brand I think these are. These are very pretty 1928 earrings. Nice. Did you ever see cuter seahorse earrings than these? <laughs> these are adorable. Uh, all made from seed beads. Uh, no, there are a couple of, of just little tiny beads in there, regular beads. But check out the colors. I just love these earrings. They are pierced. Here's what the back looks like. So it looks like, um, I'm wondering if these are handmade or what the story is here. I can't tell. I'll have to maybe do an image search to see if I can find an associated brand. But in any case, they are so cute. Just let's see how, how long these are. And I'd say these are about three inches. Let me move this up a little bit. Probably a little shorter than three inches, I'd say. Here are a couple of stretch bracelets, and I think these are handmade. They have some super interesting beads on them. These are glass and a couple of faceted AB crystals on here. So they're quite different. There's a little bit of a different type of bead on each one. So again, no name brand or anything, but I just thought they were pretty. Look at this little guy. It's a llama. It's the llama, a silver tone llama with pink enameling on it, light pink ears, and a little blanket on his back in a brighter pink. How cute is he? <laughs> so cute. Here's his little backside, and then the back, so he's double sided. And I cannot seem to find any sort of bead hole or anything. So I guess he's just a little figurine. He is so cute. This next piece is a three strand bracelet. I am positive this one is sterling silver. Very pretty chain and this very cool spiral, I guess, centerpiece there. We have a lobster clasp. Let me try this magnet on it while it's laying down and when I look closer. I am pretty certain that that is sterling silver. Here's a look at the clasp and you can see up close it could use a this whole thing could use a polishing actually. Um, and when we turn it over on the left hand side you can see it's stamped 925 Italy. And what does that say on the right hand side? I can't make it out from my angle. It might say, not, oh yeah, it says 925, but I think that's upside down. And here's that little coil that's the center of the bracelet. 
So this is pretty. I can clean this up very easily and get this listed. Here are some fancy earrings. Wow, those are awesome. So we have these silver or, uh, yeah, they're silver. I was going to say pewter, but they're silver beads and they are tassels. Let me move this up a little bit. These happen to be clip-ons. So here is an up-close view of these. Oh, these are so pretty. Um, as I said, they're clip-ons. And look at that. I am seeing Oscar de la Renta. These are absolutely gorgeous. They're very elegant. And I am going to measure these. These measure five inches. Such a great pair to list this time of year for the upcoming holiday season. Very nice find in this box. Cool. Here we have a cuff bracelet. This is in great shape. It's mostly an antique silver tone, but they are there's crystals here or little seed beads. I'm not sure which. And then there are these little, I don't know what you'd call these chevrons or arrows in gold tone and some copper tone and some more crystals. But it's in great shape. And like I said, it's a cuff bracelet. So nice. I'd wear this for sure. I like it. I have to say a lot of these earrings today in, in today's box are so fun. This is another pair of seed beads in a leaf shape and you can see they're using a fuchsia pink as well as a peach color and then these tiny little flowers. Aren't they cute? Here's what the back looks like again felt. So I'm guessing these are handmade. Really fun dangle earrings. Another bag and you can see it says genuine butterfly wing jewelry. No butterflies were harmed in the making of this jewelry. Pampered in rare butterflies from Butterfly Conservatory in Indonesia live out their natural lifespan, typically around 20 to 42 days. Silversmiths collect the best specimens and preserve the brilliant beauties in sterling silver. Each piece is unique and handcrafted. Wow, that's interesting. I'm glad to know that they weren't harmed or killed or harvested or whatever for their leaves, but um, they live out their lives. Look at these. Okay, so these are sterling silver. Here's one side. It's got a brown color, and I do like these frames as well. Very pretty. And then let's look at the other side. Oh, wow, aren't they pretty? So you can see the blue, different shades of blue and black in these. Just to be sure, I am going to yeah, I believe that they are sterling silver. These are stunning. I've never had butterfly earrings before. I mean, real butterflies. Next is this set. It's a necklace and earring set. And the necklace is, well, let me just show you up close. Here is the pendant on the necklace. And I did just clean this. I'll show you how I cleaned it in a second. But this is cool. There are two rectangles. This bottom piece is attached this way. And, and you can see right there it says 925. And it's neat. The stone, I'm pretty sure, is a dyed shell. Um, so this is just really cool. And then here is a look at the chain. It's like a boxy shaped serpentine chain. This has a lobster clasp and you can see it's upside down, but it says Italy and it is stamped 925. This very much looks like an artisan piece. I'm pretty sure it is. Now let me show you the earrings. These are the matching earrings and these I did not clean. Now if, if I hold, actually it would help more if I turn the earrings upside down. Do you see how tarnished these are? You can see that they are marked 925. But when you compare the earrings, let me turn this over to the one I cleaned. Isn't that amazing? And I mentioned that I clean them a certain way. And that way is with these polishing cloths. I've mentioned them before here on my channel. It's called Sunshine Polishing Cloth. I have a link for these down below, down in the description below the video. These are amazing. This is a newer one. It looks like I used it once. See that dark spot? But you can use these until they are completely black. And I can still use them after they turn black. They are treated with something. And I just realized that on the packaging, not only does it clean gold, silver, and all kinds of metal, brass, copper, 
but it says glass and mirrors, which I had no idea until I just read that today. <laughs> Pretty cool. I will definitely get these earrings cleaned up and maybe list this as a set. Here's another pendant necklace. There is, this definitely needs to be cleaned up, but this pendant, what I can make out is a dove and a lamb, and I can't quite see what these two images are. When I turn it over, well, first of all, I can see that it does say Sterling right there, and this is Communion, Baptism, Reconciliation, and Confirmation. So this is definitely something that might be a gift, and it is hanging on a silver neck, on a silver chain, that is. I'm gonna check to see if this is magnetic, and I'm not surprised that this isn't. I think this is definitely Sterling Silver. And let's take the chain. Okay, so this chain is not sterling silver. So obviously this was put with a sterling silver, or I should say the pendant was put with a non-sterling silver chain. That's certainly easy to fix. I can pair this up with a sterling chain. It's a nice pendant. Coming out next is this little baggie, and it looks like a sterling necklace. I think it is. Let's see. Well, this is pretty. I love this pendant. This is also a very modernist design. This little circle and has a wave. This is like an inside out circle. Look at that. That's cool. It is hanging from a box chain and we can see this little tab right here, which is often seen on precious metal pieces. There's a stamp on there and this is definitely stamped with 925 Italy. And right there, you can also see this is finished with a spring clasp. Oh yeah, this is definitely a very pretty sterling silver necklace. I especially like that pendant. And I have to say, I was getting a little worried at the beginning of the unboxing because there were so many craft pieces. But between some of the really special earrings, like this Oscar de la Renta and those fun seed bead earrings, those bold earrings, the seahorse earrings, and the sterling silver. Yeah, I'll say that sterling silver saves the day. Speaking of sterling silver saves the day is this sterling silver ring. Really interesting design. There is a crystal or CZ right there in the center. And here's the undercarriage of that ring. And somewhere right in there, I definitely have to clean it. But there is a mark. I had it upside down, but there is a 925 mark right there inside the ring. It's quite pretty. It's got this really neat swirl design. I'm not sure how else to describe it, but why don't I go ahead and size this? That is a size seven. I sure am a sucker for turquoise, um, whether it's real or not. <laughs> but here is a very cool little pendant necklace. It looks like turquoise. Let's, let's go in closer. There it is up close. I love the cut of the stones. Do you see how they're sort of wavy? Here is the side view of the pendant and then the back of the pendant. I'm not seeing any marks on there, I don't think. Nope, I don't see any marks on there, but it sure does look sterling. Let's try the magnet on it. Okay, well, it's not attracted to the magnet. Let's see about the chain. Ah, oh, the chain is. There's another case where uh, the sterling, well, I'm guessing it's sterling, piece was put on a chain that isn't sterling. But the next thing to do is to put on the screen the results of my test because I'm going to see if this metal, in fact, is sterling silver on this pendant. This necklace is just really awesome. This is a vintage sterling silver and turquoise necklace. We have small liquid sterling beads here and these turquoise beads and this Southwest design pendant with the turquoise cabochon center. So, so cool. Look at the gorgeous condition this is in. Isn't this beautiful? I haven't polished this at all. I haven't touched it. And this looks like it's just in fantastic condition. I do want to point out right there is the barrel clasp. And let's turn this pendant over. And right there you can see where it is stamped, 925 USA. 
Now, I know a lot of pieces like this could be Navajo, but I always, my understanding was that Navajo also had an initial assigned or one or two initials on the back. Uh, am I getting that right? Let me know down in the comments section if uh, my thinking is right on that. Isn't this lovely? We've come to the end of today's five pound mystery jewelry box unboxing from ThreadUp. Let me know if you think that silver saves the day on this box. There were lots of craft pieces for sure, but lots of lovelies as well. Thanks for coming in today, guys. Let me know what you thought of the box and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.